Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I'm Gary Gunderson. Today we are taking a look at a Chinese Type 54. And if you think that looks an awful lot like a Tokarev, your eyes aren't deceiving you. That's because when China became a communist state, the Soviet Union helped them out with arms production. That's why the Type 53 is basically a copy of the M44 Mosin, the Type 56 is basically a copy of the SKS, and likewise, this Type 54 is basically a copy of the TT-33 Tokarev pistol. There was a Type 51 whose manufacture started in 1951, but was quickly replaced by the Type 54, which had a few small changes and was made completely in China. Like all Tokarevs, this is a locked breech recoil operated semi-automatic pistol. The standard magazine holds 8 rounds and fires a 7.62 by 25 Tokarev, a next down cartridge similar in size to the 7.63 Mauser cartridge. It's a nice little round and is known for its good penetrative power. For a long time, the Type 54s have been somewhat rare compared to other Tokarev variants on the American market and commanded a premium since they were never imported. However, new shipments are coming in via Albania, like the Chinese SKSs from a few years back. So if you search around at the time of posting this, you can get one of these imports for a pretty good deal compared to before these just hit the market. I still think the originals will have a little bit of a premium since they have no importation markings. One nice feature of these Type 54s that are coming into the country now is that they're outfitting them with the Glock style trigger safeties. As manufactured and fielded, the Type 54 has no safety, unless you count the half cock position. But American importation laws demand a safety be put on these pistols, so many Tokarev variants that have been imported over the years have awkward safeties that mar the frame and are not really welcome from a collector's perspective. These new trigger safeties can be replaced with the standard trigger so they are in the original configuration. All you need to do is find the original part. And from what I've seen, the import marks are hidden pretty well on these newly imported pistols too, which is a plus. As far as markings go, the three Chinese characters found on the top of the slide translate to mean Type 54. The serial number is just under these characters as well as on the frame itself. The number 66 follows the serial number on the frame, which is believed to be a factory designation, and then the year of manufacture, a 1967 date for this example. The last four digits of the serial number are also found in the magazine floor plate, not matching here. Barrel, hammer assembly, and the barrel bushing. It has a standard button magazine release and a partially shroud hammer. Quick note, I wouldn't trust this as a carry firearm with a hammer down on a load chamber as it's not safe. Now to the disassembly, which matches other Tokarev variants. First you lock it open, drop the mag, and then you need to get this bracket moved over. And thankfully a Tokarev round works just fine. Pull that back and there your slide stop is ready to be released. All right now you would take out the slide stop, grab the slide so that it does not fly out and press it and be careful that this may mar the frame if you're not careful. And once you release it the slide will come off the frame and if you're not careful this spring will just kind of fly out like that. And then you take the barrel bushing Rotate it 180 degrees, and that will come out. And then make sure this link on the barrel is folded forward. You can get that out the front as well. And there is one more step. Like the other Tokarevs, the Type 54 has the hammer assembly as one completely removable unit. So you can pop that right out. And this is made as an easily replaceable component for repairs. I did forget to show that this part of the recoil spring comes out. And this is cut to ride along the barrel. Reassembly is the same in reverse. Pop your hammer assembly back into the frame. Reassemble your recoil spring. Slide the barrel back into the slide, and when you are reassembling it, be sure that the link 
is down like this because I've seen them reassembled incorrectly with the link up and this just freezes your whole slide in place and you'll have to reassemble it. Put back the barrel bushing. And then when you're putting the spring back in, like I said, be sure that the link is in the correct position. It will also help out if you grasp over so the spring doesn't pop out. See, I'm holding it in place because if you're not, if you let go, it'll kind of just pop out on you. Make sure that the barrel and recoil springs are aligned correctly like this. You can have the spring or the barrel rotate slightly one way or the other, and that can hamper putting it back together. And then you put that back on the slide. And you have to pull back a little bit against spring pressure and make sure that you can see through this link so that the holes line up for the slide stop release. And you just slide it in. And then you put the bracket back in place and a toker of cartridge can help with this as before. And then you are complete. If you want to switch out the grips, all you need is a screwdriver. You can see the little tab here. All you have to do is stick it in and move it to the back. And here you can see how that works a little better. That's locked into the place and that allows it to fall out. And then the other grip is also easy. You just have to push it up, rotate it counterclockwise. And that also pops right off. And there you have it, the Type 54. Please comment if you bought one of the newly imported Type 54s on how they look. They all seem to be in pretty good shape from what I've seen. Like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching.